Okay, we've cased a lot of tween books. What's their M.O.? The heroes are all orphans. And they're set in a place kids relate to. Say, a school. But it's actually magic. And the protagonist always discovers that he is supernatural. Okay, our book will be about an orphan who goes to a magical school where he discovers he's a vampire. Vampires? Like these? Huh? Or those? Huh? Or these guys? Huh? Oh. So many vampires with the fangs and the capes and the medals. Nobody knows how they earned them. Hey, this job's falling apart. Everyone head for a different airport, and we meet in Rio in a year with new faces. No one's going anywhere. Okay, the vampire genre is sucked out. All we gotta do is find a new monster to be our hero. Ah! A troll! Hey, I ain't a troll. Look, I bleed red, just like you. I, th the first part is always green, but it, it turns red. A troll, that's it. Our book could be about an orphan troll. Trolls live under bridges. The school should be under a bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge. And the cool kids are elves. The cheerleaders are pixies. The stoners are... Uh, gargoyles. And they play a complicated sport, which makes no sense, called fuzzle pitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> We've cracked it. We're gonna be rich. Pardon me. But are you scheming to co-author a successful series of children's fantasy novels? Okay, Stonehenge, let's see how good you are at eavesdropping without a trot. Uh, don't kill him! That's Neil Gaiman! I don't care if he's the guy who wrote Sandman Volume 1, Preludes and Nocturnes. No one spies on us. Perhaps someone of my experience would be a valuable addition to your crew. The king of fantasy books on our fantasy book writing team? Okay, Gaiman, you're in. Your job is to get lunch and lose the British accent. Cheeseburgers, french fries, I'm all over that, pal. Sitting in a coffee shop, I couldn't feel more like a real writer. <sighs> oh, better set up my Wi-Fi in case I need to do some research. But if I'm gonna use their free internet, I really should buy something. God, I love being a writer. Lucinda placed the fifth shard in the stained glass window, which now clearly read, Your parents are alive. Gregor turned to his twin sister, and they both understood their journey was just beginning. The end. <laughs> it's good. Weekly reader star selection good. I just hope we put in enough steampunk, whatever that is. Who wants to see my cover markup? The Troll Twins of Underbridge Academy. I'm so proud of us. Oh, you didn't write any of it. That tuna didn't sell it itself. Uh -huh. <gasps> I've got it! A mermaid falls in love with a boy on land. I'm a genius! Ah! Writing is the hardest thing ever! Huh? Hope you don't mind us printing our book in your room, Lise. Yeah, only your professional strength output tray can handle the weight of our manuscript. Correction, finished manuscript. Woohoo! Oh. 